I very rarely come to Camden, being a South East Londoner, and I forget how how cool it is, and Proud Galleries is amazing. And obviously get to see the film again. Haven't seen it since it was at, um, at Rain Dance. So I'm looking forward to seeing it on the big screen again. Well, firstly, everybody's really nice. Um, it's, it was a low budget indie film. Um, the script's really good. And um, we shot in Folkestone, which, which is just the most Honestly, it's the most beautiful place. You wouldn't think it, but Folkestone in Kent is like the English Riviera or something. I play a girl who's called Ali, who's, um, she lives in a caravan. She's a bit, bit bohemian. She's, um, she's a bit chubby. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just lots of fun and she like just pops up here and there like peppered throughout the film and um, yeah it's just it's just a really nice part to play. I kind of like to think of myself as like half chav anyway <laughs> so it's um, no like it, it's it's cool like you know it's quite easy for me to to, to play a chav and I and I I like I like them them parts. I know it's kind of like derogatory like saying the word chav, but um, they are kind of like really cool parts to play where you can just let yourself go and um, you know not really worry about hair, makeup, and things like that. And yeah, it's a cool it's a cool part. I'm from Croydon, so you know channeling a chav is cool. Rob is just a, a lovely guy. I mean, his story is amazing. He, he was a carpet fitter um, in his, you know, early 50s, I think, when he got this job. I mean, he's, he's gorgeous as well. Um, I think he does a really good job. He's very na natural and interesting on, on camera. There's, there's, he's not acting, like, and it's really lovely to watch. Um, and they got on well. Everyone got on well. It was, it, this, this film, honestly, was a, an absolute pleasure to, to be involved with because everyone was just dead nice and just got on with it. Yeah, there are lots of yeah, things like, like loneliness and I guess potential, how you can cha things can change in a heartbeat, what, what um, decisions you make, you know, the will they, won't they. I don't want to give too much away, but... Um, yeah, I think how you can change your life by saying yes or by, by not doing anything about it and then it just becomes that little moment where it's just that moment and then nothing happens. But if you commit to something, then something could happen.